Hey guys, this is your friend Mainam from Civil Center and I welcome all of you back to our channel and another video on driver structures. So friends, in today's video on driver structures, we'll show you how to add extra reinforcement in a beam in driver structures. So friends, as a structural engineer, as you can see, there are designs in which we have to provide extra reinforcement in beams. Mainly, at the top, it, the extra reinforcement is provided near the supports, as you can see here, at a distance of 1.1L. and for the continuous end it's 0.3L and the extra reinforcement is also provided here near the supports whereas at the bottom as you can see the extra reinforcement is provided at the center keeping a space of 0.15L and 0.25L from the discontinuous and continuous end respectively so we are going to try and do something similar in rabbit structures so before starting I want to tell you we have launched for you a complete recorded course on G plus 3 building design using Tecla Structural Designer in which all the aspects of your planning structural design and making the final structural drawing sheet will be covered and in this course we will also include two live demonstrations and two doubt clearing sessions for you. So what are you waiting for? Hurry up and you can contact the number which has been given here and also you can register using the link which has been given in the description. So now first of all let's go to the particular level in which we are providing the particular beams and we can also go to the section now if you haven't watched the previous videos on how to do all these steps you can go to the link which has been given right here so now we can select this and we can simply copy this we can click on this select this corner and or else it's best if you just select this and click on copy and select the middle one so you'll get better idea of where to place it so here also we'll follow the same procedure copy pick the center until you find the grid lines now just paste it here so we have provided two bars one at the top and one at the bottom which we are going to use as extra reinforcement so we are going to smartly deal with it so we're just going to double click on this particular extra reinforcement here and we're going to use the option of split so we're going to just split the element here and after that we'll click on escape and after that we'll delete the split element now simply we will calculate the distance and provide it as per our preference say it's 1500 mm so now we are going to go to level 1 and we are going to select this option of move we are going to move this from here to the center and after that we, just, we are going to click this finish edit mode so after the edit has been finished we will just select this beam and we are going to copy this from this portion that is the end point to the middle point so since the both end is you know discontinuous end so the distances will be the same so if you just watch it in the 3d view as you can see the extra reinforcement near the supports here and the extra reinforcement near the supports here so we have extra reinforcement near the supports and it is not at the center so like this we have done the top reinforcement now for the bottom reinforcement let us again select the middle bar which we are going to provide as extra reinforcement so we'll double click on it so after that we can split we'll just split it from let's say we'll split it from here escape escape again and now we'll just delete this so after uh, deleting this we can go to level 1 we can select this we'll make this as your 1500 and we can make this distance so since it is 4000 mm so 4000 minus 1000 that is 3000 minus 500 2500 so we can divide this 2500 into two parts let's say 1000 1250 so it has been divided into two parts so this 
bar is at the center 1250 from here and 1250 from here which is exactly at the center now let us check in the 3d view as you can see so this is your particular extra bar at the center which is provided at the bottom of the beam so now you can just click on finish edit mode now as you can see we have successfully provided the extra reinforcement top as you can see this is the top reinforcements and this reinforcement is provided as extra at the bottom just like in the structural drawing as you can see this is the section also as you can see this is a section xx near the supports so near the supports we have extra reinforcements visible and at the center if a section is cut we have the extra reinforcement at the center visible so like this we have done it in the revit structure the values you can change as per your preference so hope you found this video useful for more such videos stay tuned to our channel and if you want professional training from us you can contact us using the number and the link which has been given below that's all bye bye